are in process with installing an M2 drive into a QNAP NAS 2016-2015 version. It's 1280, so I've got it in already. And here's M drive, M.2 drive 1 and 2 here. It goes, I have the NAS on its side. The label's up, and I'm here's the top of the NAS. So what you have to do, and I've already done it, is put in a little bolt into the motherboard here. You slide in the top of the M2 drive upwards. Uh, before that, you measure where you place the bolt. You push it up a little bit, and then you take the screw and push it into the, tie it into the bolt. And this, these screws in the bolt were in a plastic bag that came with the NAS. And the same bag had uh, a heat sink and I'm not using it. And the instructions didn't say you had to. I wasn't part of the normal steps, so we'll see. It's a bit more involved than what I thought. Um, perhaps may have not got it if I knew all this. Here's the, the RAM. I think the CPU is buried probably underneath the, that. Here's the fan. Didn't undo it. This was pretty easy to get out. There's a lot of fans in here. Let's see if I can get this back on. It was mainly a snapping unlocking mechanism on top. Hopefully, yes, snaps back in place. Very good. Okay, so I am tempted to put it back on its side, turn it on, and see. Oh, there was one more screw up top, which of course is right here. The screw in mine was, I'm gonna put it back on the side here. Super heavy. Make sure I didn't scratch my desk or I don't drop this thing. Okay. The screw to push out the fan was marked with the red marker here, you can see. Hopefully. Okay, right there. Okay. Now I am going to test it out. I don't want to put all the screws back in and see that it didn't work. Power connector, where'd that go? Unplug the cord. Turn the switch on. And turn it on power in the front, which completely baffled me when I first got it. BIOS check, powering up. All this. At least the power came back on. Hardware initialization. And it does indicate that I do have an M.2 installed. There's a green light on here. I'll try to show that to you. You can't see very well here, but there's a green light. It says M.2, the first slot, is on. I installed the Samsung Evo 850 M.2, 500 gigabytes.
here's the package at the time of let's see September 2016 500 gigabyte was the main version you can buy at a reasonable price so it's still booting it's a starting system I still have my hard disk that I have in there um, recognized it's not booted up yet Alright, so system boot is completed. It verbally announced it. I was able to pull up the website. No apparent errors. 